in the case of that film, the British government ended up apologising for an ITV current affairs programme. Eight years later, it entered into a bitter conflict with one which some people will tell you put a major ITV company out of business. I remember waking up in the morning and hearing about this shooting in Gibraltar and I thought, not much in that. The IRA admitted that they had a team out there, bombs had been found, there's been two weeks shooting, people got killed. Well, that happens, it happened in Northern Ireland. Is it proof of shoot to kill? Not really. Uh, not much for us to do. Next morning, of course, Geoffrey Howe stands up in front of the House of Commons and says, uh, there wasn't a bomb. Uh, the shooting was entirely one way, since the IRA members were unarmed. And you thought, whoops. The question which goes to the heart of the issue is this. Did the SAS men have the law on their side when they shot dead Mairead Farrell, Danny McCann and Sean Savage, who were unarmed at the time? They didn't do anything. They just jumped with the, with the guns in their hands and they just went and shot these people. That's all. If you can get within four feet of, of, of your target, is it really necessary to shoot them, or even if it is necessary to shoot them, is it, is it necessary to shoot them to kill them? We weren't in a position to decide what had happened. We were in a position to say there are all, all this evidence raises all of these questions, and the British government's view doesn't seem to square with much of it. Death on the Rock was broadcast against the express wishes of the government and provoked a fierce political row. For the journalists, it represented the right to investigate. For the government, it was trial by television. If you ever get trial by television or guilt by accusation, that day, freedom dies. Friends of the government weighed in. The Sunday Times led the charge, accusing the programme of leaning on witnesses and misrepresenting the facts. Some tabloids mounted a campaign of character assassination against the witnesses. It was the programme makers, it seemed, who were in the dock, and if found guilty, they'd be hung out to dry. The IBA supported the programme. Thames, while standing by it, commissioned a judicial review to try to defuse the crisis. I knew it was going to cause trouble. I didn't think it would cause that amount of trouble. But in the end, uh, how could we not do it? Uh, that was one of our jobs. Uh, and, you know, there were people in ITV who said, oh, God, Roger, do you have to do this? And in the end, I thought, yeah, we do have to do it. Death on the Rock Affair 